This is likely going to be the shortest video you ever saw on firework photography and everything you need to know to be successful. So let's talk about the exposure triangle. We're going to talk about ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. Start with ISO, that's easy. Set it to 100 or 200. Set your aperture to f.8.5 or higher, going up towards 11 in that range. Shutter speed, got two options. We can do a timer on the camera that will, you've probably played with this before, it's a two second or 10 second timer before the shutter gets released. You do that so you can push the button and let go and it'll take the photo. Then set your shutter speed to something between one second and 30 seconds. The difficulty with this method is you're likely gonna miss some firework shots because the shutter's not gonna open when you want it to open. The best method is get a remote release that's tethered to your camera that has a button and you can press it to open the shutter when you want. The other benefit is you can hold it open as long as you want. You can do a one second exposure, you could do a two minute exposure, but it's the best method for taking fireworks. I hope you learned a lot. This is Doug Gabbard for Practicing Photography, getting better one photo at a time, and I hope you are too. Good luck on your firework photography. If you want details on some firework photography I've done, check out these videos that I have right here.